All right, here's the deal. Soft, slow, sensual lovemaking is nice. It's wonderful. <laughs> and it has its place in the bedroom. But sometimes women just want it to be a little rough wild and intense. In fact, studies even show that the vast majority of women actually love rougher sex because it's connected to feeling overwhelmingly wanted by the man you want, which is totally arousing. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you 10 of the best rough sex moves that women secretly crave in the bedroom, but might not tell you outright. So with these amazing moves in your arsenal, you will be ready to rock any woman's world in bed and keep her coming back for more. So pay very close attention and keep watching. I'm Marnie and from here on out, I am going to be your very own personal wing girl. And every week I'm gonna give you the no BS insider info about what women really want, not what they say they want. So just hit that subscribe button below so you never miss a video. All right, let's get started. Here are the 10 rough moves that women secretly crave in bed. Move number one, undress her. Don't wait for her to undo her bra herself, lift her shirt or pull her down her jeans. Take control, you are the one in charge. You're the one who should be tearing off her clothes like you can't wait another second to ravage her body. That kind of passion and intensity will set the tone for what's to come and we love it. Move number two, throw her on the bed. Don't place her down tenderly like she's a piece of glass you're worried about shattering. Gently shove her onto the blankets and then climb on top of her to do what you want to do. Once again, it shows her that you cannot wait to enjoy her body and that you find her irresistible. And we women love to feel that kind of raw animalistic desire from our man. And to help really show a woman how much you crave her, having a rock solid erection will do the trick, which is why I wanna tell you about Joy Mode. Joy Mode makes natural science backed sexual wellness products for men. Joy Mode was created because the products on the market like prescriptions and over the counter gas station pills are terrible for you and can hurt you in the long run. I would much rather you take a supplement designed to spice things up naturally rather than some gross prescription drug that can have harmful effects on you down the road. Whether you're happy or you're unhappy with your performance in the bedroom, why not perform even better? Joy Mode's sexual performance booster is like a pre-workout, but for sex. So you take it anywhere from like 45 minutes to five hours before you have sex and you can expect to get one of your best erections. So you wanna spice things up in the bedroom and boost your sexual performance and do it naturally without nasty prescription drugs, then I want you to give Joy Mode a try. So go to usejoymode.com slash Marnie or enter Marnie at checkout for 20% off your first offer. That is joymode.com slash Marnie for 20% off your first order. Thank you Joy Mode for sponsoring today's video and thank you for continuing to watch. So we can go on to number three, which is hold her down. Women, especially feminine women, love feeling contained during sex since it allows her to feel secure and she can freely express her sexuality with you. And the easiest way to do this is to take her wrists and hold them together over her head while you're on top of her. You can do this while you're making out or during sex. You can also hug her tight and keep her secured that way. The important thing is that she feels restrained in a way and under your control. Not like totally under your control. You still want her to have some power, but like, uh. And that feeling of surrendering control is a big turn on for a lot of women. Okay, number four, kiss her with passion. So this is easy, right? Kiss her like you mean it. Thrust your tongue inside of her mouth and moan like you've just tasted the best thing in your life. And don't just focus on her lips. Push her head to the side so you can suck and nibble on her neck. Women go bonkers over that stuff. The neck is a super sensitive area and so is the ear. In fact, if she's okay with it, you can even bite and leave like some really light marks. Move number five, pulling her hair, which you guys always talk about that I do. This works best if you're doing it doggy style, but you can make it work for, from pretty much any position. And trust me, she will love it. When you pull your woman's hair, especially the area at like the back of the neck, it sends shivers down their spine. So when having sex, it adds to the sensation and pleasure. Just remember, grab her hair like close to the scalp and don't yank the ends. Like that's just like 
you know, five-year-old boy teasing a girl on the playground, but do it from here because the other side can be really painful, but it's amazing. Number six, grab her waist. Again, another simple, but all these are simple. So grab her waist while you're thrusting and just hold her as tight as you can. I mean, not as tight because you don't want to leave bruises or anything, but like just hold her tight and pull her in. Like it's, it, I know it seems simple, but it's absolutely super sexy. All right, so number seven, this one's a little bit controversial, so bear with me. And just remember that you have to talk about this before you actually do this. So it's it's slightly and lightly choking a woman. So you wanna just put like a little bit of pressure here, right, on the neck. And you have to ask her if it's okay. And if she wants you to do it harder, she wants you to stop and go softer, she'll let you know. But for some women, this is not me. I don't like this at all, I'm a control freak. But for some women, they, they really like this. I have friends who really, really like this and tell me that I should do it. I've tried it, it doesn't work for me. Anyway, again, ask her how she feels about this and then play around with the pressure that you put onto her neck, but it can be super sexy for the woman that you're sleeping with. Number eight, spank her. Spanking a girl is the easiest way to get into rough play since you're not going to hurt her by slapping her on the butt. And honestly, it's pretty rare to find a woman who doesn't like it after she's tried it. I don't like it out of the bedroom, but in the bedroom, I'm okay with it. So start firmly with an open palm and to judge whether she likes it, you can ask, is that hard enough for you or want it harder or do you like that? That allows you to stay in control and keep her feeling good without causing any serious pain. Move number nine. Be vocal and talk dirty. So I've mentioned this in many of my past videos. If you want your girl to get going, in excitement and ecstasy, then you gotta be vocal and talk dirty. It doesn't matter if your girl isn't a dirty talker, but simply telling her how hot or beautiful she looks will get her craving you more. Or even like what it's doing to you, what all of this is doing to you, that's super sexy. Like, I'm so turned on, uh, you make me crazy. These are great things. Similarly, saying out loud what you wanna do to her or how much she turns you on can drive a woman absolutely wild. So talking dirty is a powerful tool to have in the bedroom and it can spice up any sexual interaction, whether it's a quickie before work or a more intense, long lasting session. Now I've touched on this topic multiple times in the past, but if you want me to do a more in depth video training on how to talk dirty, along with proven lines and phrases, just let me know in the comments and I'll make it for you because I have an amazing expert to bring on to talk about this. So moving on, number 10, thrust hard and fast. Thrusting very hard and fast and mixing it with the points I mentioned previously will send her off the edge. But you wanna save this for last because you gotta warm her up first. Consider this an end game move and deploy it when you know she's turned on to the brim where she is like begging you for this. This is when you let out your animalistic side and give her all you've got with nothing to hold back. All right, that concludes our list of 10 rough sex moves that women secretly crave in bed. So if you wanna go deeper into this topic of pleasuring a woman and giving her the wildest and craziest experiences in the bedroom, you have to see this masterclass I did on this topic with certified sex therapist, Helen Anista. I'm gonna put the link below uh, in the description below so you can check it out. This masterclass will show you exactly how to satisfy your girlfriend or your date, your wife, so that she literally is like in ecstasy. The tactics revealed in this two hour masterclass will allow you to read a woman's body like a book, uncover her deepest desires and give her powerful toe curling orgasms on command. So whether you're in a long-term relationship, married or just met someone, New, Helena's sex tactics will guarantee that you have wild, passionate adventures in the bedroom that practically force women to come back for more. So if you're ready to be the rock star lover that women want, click the link below and check out the masterclass. Now, I'm sure you will love it. Lastly, thank you for watching this video today. I hope you found it useful. And as always, I'll see you again next week.